bird. Uh, this is a plant that you typically find uh, in really wet sites and it's solitary from long creeping rhizomes and it is uh, Areophrum grassily. It's the smallest of the true Areophrums and has a couple of characteristic features that allow you to distinguish it relatively easily. Uh, first of all, it has uh, typically only a single bract and it's often quite small. So there is the uh, single bract. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's a little more leaf-like and you can hunt around to see it. And secondly, um, it has a very short upper leaf blade. The uh, upper leaf sheath is quite long, but the blade coming off that Looks sheath is a, is a ridiculous little dimple. <laughs> and it's sometimes longer than that. However, the, the blade is always shorter than the sheath. Hmm. And this belongs to the group of Areophrum that uh, has the leaves uh, not flat like Angustifolium or Viridi carinatum, both of which have more than one in Lucrobract. But instead of having flat leaves like those two, the leaves are channeled. They're deeply grooved and folded and narrow in, in this species. And the only other species that has that channeled narrow leaf is Areophrum tenellum, which is quite similar, slightly larger and distinguished by having the leaf of the uppermost sheath longer than the sheath rather than shorter. Uh, that seems like a trivial character, but that works almost all the time. Hmm. Grassily has the little stubby blade shorter than the sheath, and in Tenellum, the blade is actually longer than the sheath. So, and Tenellum is a larger plant as well, uh, even more northern. I don't know how common it is in New York. It won't be rare, but it'll hmm. be northern and scattered. Hmm. This this is a. a, a I don't know how far south this gets, but it's probably throughout much of New York in really wet places. Yeah. What was that? I've been enough time to tell. Grassley. Do you? Grassley. I, I don't know what. Have you? Do you, so it's not on your list then. No. Okay.